What's going on guys and welcome back to part two of our mini series on uh, when I got Elite 3. I'm showing you all the custom tactics that helped me out um, during this weekend, probably arguably the sweatiest weekend of the year because everyone wants those Prem tops. Everyone wants to finish off in a high position and it was very, very, very competitive or as we like to say, very sway. So we're going into part two of uh, the custom tactics that um, that really helped me out this weekend, guys. And I'll tell you exactly um, this specific tactic. I will tell you exactly when I, I lock this one in. All right. So, guys, thank you much for, for for all the support on the videos as per usual, guys. I really appreciate you guys being faithful and being uh, throwing a lot of support on these videos that I drop. So, if you do like this video and if you do like this specific custom tactic, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the bell so you know exactly when my videos do go live because we are releasing a mini little mini series and. Also, as well, if you want to come check me out on Twitch and talk to me as well, you want to know a little bit more insight into some custom tactics, then um, obviously follow, follow me. My link to my Twitch is down below in the description. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right. So again, we're going to start off with the instructions uh, again. Um, so it's what if you have watched the previous video, thank you very much for the support on the video. The, the very first four, 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 triple two video, guys. Thank you so much. We actually smashed over 8,000 uh, uh views on that video i really appreciate the support on the video and i really hope as much as you guys are watching the videos i really hope that the, the tactics are helping you guys i've got some feedback from a few people and they really like it i actually got some feedback from someone um this weekend who actually watched the i uh, used the four triple two and they've done very very well it was their third weekend league and they've done very very well using these custom tactics so i've updated it since then because those were that that custom tactic was about two patches ago i think it was so um i've updated um these custom custom tactics and they have done me very 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 well um, and I'll tell you exactly when I think this is the best time to use this custom tactic so uh, goalkeeper we'll start from the back work our way to the top goalkeeper, goalkeeper comes to crosses sweeper keeper again very very handy to have the sweeper keeper especially if the ball is played in behind and you want your um, goalkeeper to come and sweep up and, and cover any mistakes that your um, defenders are making now I would say it's really really important that it's really important that you um, look at your goalkeeper's re uh, reactions or speed because if you got a slow goalkeeper, a sweeper keeper, he will just get chipped. So I would I'll be careful about what goalkeeper you're 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 asking to be a sweeper keeper because if they're not very very good um, in terms of speed, then you know I, I I I wouldn't I wouldn't risk it. But and at the same time, if if you've got a goalkeeper that's cautious when it comes for crosses and you tell him to come for a cross, be careful because it might cancel each other out. But I would I would put them on anyways because I I, I don't care. I I I, I, I just want them to come out and, and be a sweeper keeper. I would not use a goalkeeper any lower than to Stegen. All right. So and I've always put sweeper keeper has done me very very well. All right, centre backs come back, stay back while attacking. Fullbacks, I've got step out while attacking and on overlap as well. So when I tell them to come, when I tell them to come forwards, um, SCN and Fabio will make runs in behind as opposed to in between Vidal or Gerard or, or Adetriori or Messi or Mane and Neymar. They will not run in be in between in inverted. Okay, so it's going to be an overlap. All right, big big fan of overlap, in, especially in professional football. It's always the overlap. Now. Here it comes very, 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 very tricky. Now changed it, okay? Cut in, cut passing lanes and drop between defender and cover center on both my CDMs. Now, the reason why I've done this, okay, is because of the fact that if you are someone who's not very good defensively and you want to be more competent, you want more assurances going forwards, uh, you want some assurances that you've got a cover going forwards and you've got players staying back, then basically what happens is Net Vidal and Gerard will drop in between your centre backs or drop in between your full backs or centre backs and they'll sit on, on the back line. Okay, maybe all just in front, not exactly uh, centre backs, but they'll drop between the defence. I'll tell you, well, let's read and tell you what it says. It says here um, uh, neutral behaviour where players maintain their shape. All right, so basically, what that basically means is a simple fact is, is that they'll just stay in their position, they won't dive in, they won't charge, they won't, they won't, they won't, you know, move around as much because you've got them on cover centre and cut passing lanes. They will just maintain their, their shape, they'll not be, they won't be too aggressive, they won't be too passive. All right, but when you do lose the ball, you'll realize that Vidal and Gerard are both sitting back. Now, the reason why I don't want the reason why I don't want Gerard and and, and Vidal bombing forwards is because I've got Mark, I've got four players going forwards as it is. You only need three players in attack, all right? You don't need so many players bombing forwards. If you want to, if you need some more support, 
then take your most attacking minded uh, midfielder, i.e. Gerard, and put him on balanced attack. But for now, I've put him on drop in between defense, uh, drop between defenders. Now, you could say this is a very much a defensive minded thing, but if you notice what I'm going to do with my attackers, trust me, I tell you, you don't need the support from them yet. Okay, um, I've got Adama Traore and Mane on getting the box for the cross, Neymar and Messi on getting behind okay i've not got them will come back on defense i've just told them to get in behind and and that's about it because of the fact that i've got i've really made my my defense my back line and my two cdms to be very very defensive i don't really want anybody else being defensive because i think i've got the assurance going back in 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 terms of my defensive support so everybody else is going to be bombing forwards and these two and my, my midfielders are going to st be staying back Okay, so let's move over to the tactics. Now, I've got them the tactics on balance because right now I don't want them, I don't want no one dropping back. I want the press to happen. So if someone does get into my box, then my AI will kick in and they will start making interceptions. So there are times when you're player switching and um, and if they try push, uh, if they try make a pass into the center and you're not controlling Vidal, but Vidal is standing there, he'll jump in and make a tackle for me. So the so your team will press the ball all over the pitch, not just in your deep, not just in your own box but also in the midfield as well. As I said in my previous video, the width and the depth, I'm replicating the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the overload ball side, okay? I really wanna try and manipulate the, the game so as if I am using the overload ball side. It just makes everybody knows that the attack, the most dangerous area of the pitch is in the middle of the pitch and you want to try and protect that as much as you can. When someone's bombing down the wing, if you are competent um, as a defender, um and control your fullbacks and push your um, and try and close the angle down or close it down a little bit not go not completely go gung-ho and, and close them down and try and get the ball but just use your fullbacks to to just try and close the space a little bit whilst they're bombing down the, down the wing but because you've got your full because you've got your center mids on dropping between defenders some um your your midfielders will come back in, in just in front of your center backs they won't drop into a space where you've covered because you're not on the drop back but your center mids will come back and support the defense Depth is on three because I don't want people uh, making balls, um, lobbing balls in behind. It just gives me a lot of security defensively. Offensive style long ball. I'm a big fan of long ball. A lot of people are not the big, a big fan of long ball. And the reason why I've got, I, I chose long ball as opposed to fast build up is mainly because two things. One, it conserves my stamina, the long ball. All right. I've got two players here, which I'm very concerned about the stamina, Gerard and Messi. So um, I want them bombing for, I want, I want Messi going forwards, but at the same time, I don't want to drain his stamina. Secondly, is that a second reason is that if I do lose the ball, um, one thing the fast build up does is the fact that it makes you, as I said, it makes you very, very open defensively as in like you'll be very susceptible on the counter attack here is not it's not something i've tested both of them and is very much so it's, as soon as you lose the ball um it's it, your your team there's so many gaps in your team whereas a long ball the only players that you've told to go forwards will start making those runs in behind as well but because you've got your center mids and this this is really important to the formation because you've got your center mids on dropping between defenders you've got that defensive assurance that if you do lose the ball someone's there to help all right so i'm so my tactics are very much giving you a lot of defensive security especially if you're not very good at defending so i'm specifically targeting some of my my gold three silver one players if you're not very good defensively it will definitely give you a bit of a bit of support going forwards now a lot of, I, I think someone used one of my tactics um I, i'm pretty sure my previous video 4 4 one, one he actually got elite one with it so um it's not just for the the gold the silver ones and gold threes let me just put that out there but i'm just specifically targeting those ones in this very moment of the video so just trying to assure you that it does give you a bit of defensive support the width again big fan of making the width wider than the um the uh the the offensive width wider than the defensive width mainly because again i want some more attacking options now the four 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 triple two is a bit of a narrow formation it's not exactly it's not narrow but it's not as wide as the four four two so i was i did try it out at six but i put it down as five mainly because i want to keep my players close together and i'm pretty conscious of the delay all right there's not very good servers on uh, in Div Rivals and there's not very good uh, servers in Fot Champs. 
I don't know why I said that because everyone knows that anyways. So keeping it at five, it just gives people a little bit more. You can go six if you are quite competent in the passing and going forwards. Then obviously the wider you are, the more spread out they are. But it's, again, it gives you a lot of attacking options as well. But also as well, when you do lose the ball, it just takes a while for your players to kind of close, to be more compact and close the gap. So five, it just it just makes it just means that when you do lose the ball, it just takes less time for your players to cut, to keep their shape. If you bomb it all the way up to ten. And you do lose the ball it just takes them a bit of a while bit of time now especially if someone's using fast build up for them to come back and stay and get more compact so five is pretty good you can go to six if you want to but five is pretty nice in this formation players in the box is at six because i want i want pretty much everyone going into the box my the ones i've told to go into the box my 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 right cam my right right attacking mid my left attacking mid and my two strikers getting into the box to support at the same time gerard now the the, the thing is that when he says players in the box goes up to six you're even though gerard and and vidal are on the drop between defenders that is that means when when they when you do have the ball they will still come up the defensive line will come up to the halfway line and gerard and Messi. oh sorry so your two center mids i'm not going to assume everyone has gerard and vidal but your two center defensive mids will just sit in, just in front of your defenders as well so if you do lose the ball they can they can come up a little bit to kind of help but they won't get into the box all right they will not get into the box corners and free kicks is on two uh mainly because it's a little bit more attacking just a little bit more going forwards as well it doesn't really matter two two or one to be honest with me it's to be honest with you it's all the same i've just made it two because obviously i'm just being more attacking minded in this formation now probably the best time to slot this this custom tactic in you can do it right at the beginning of the game for my first 10 games with this formation i went um Uh, it was a, it was a Saturday. I was nine and one, and I went sixteen and four or sixteen and three. I think it was. I can't I can't remember exactly what it was, but I use this formation also as well. For what makes this formation different from my pre the previous video for triple two? I took I've taken off free roam. When I wanted to play down the wing, my 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 left attacking mid and my right attacking mid were in the center of the pitch. They've got good attacking positions, but at the same time, there's sometimes I just want to keep the ball in the wing and they weren't there. So I've taken off the I've taken off the, the free roam. But I, when I took off the free roam and used this tactic, it was very very good, and um, I was just going through a lot of players uh, quite quick getting quite a few rage quits with this one so that's the four triple two guys so again you can use it when you i would say you can lock it in right at the beginning of the game you can lock it in if you go one nil down if you come out the the pre my previous custom tag the four four one one and lock this in then it's a very very good tactic as well especially if you want to get the get a goal back quite quickly all right, so that's the four triple two, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on this video, subscribe, put the bell on so you know when the next two custom tactics are going to be here. Um, and as well, if you want to come check me on Twitch, the link to my Twitch is down below in the description. Thank you for the support on the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you at the next upload. Peace.